hello. It's good to see you. Today we're back, getting a little bit of a late start tonight. We are back with the Goodwill bag of jewelry. It's been a busy night around here. I just didn't get started at my normal time, but we're going to see what we can find in here today. Now we have been looking for a couple of earrings to match some earrings that I found earlier in another bag. I don't know if we'll find them, but this right here gives me hope. I think the match to this earring was in the last bag we looked at. The bag that had the earrings in it, there were two earrings, and I want to find the matches, the mates too. I believe the other one like this was in that bag, so maybe it's in there. I don't know. We'll find out. But in the meantime, we can certainly enjoy all these other things in here. Oh, these are pretty. Look at these blue beads. It's a necklace. A triple-stranded blue necklace. This is pretty. Oops, and has something wrapped around it. Isn't that pretty? These are plastic, but they're so pretty. Oh, beautiful. It has just a basic little hook clasp here. This is really, really pretty. I love it. It's it's kind of short. You see it's yeah, it's kind of short, but that, those are pretty. You have some that are kind of a midnight blue, and then these plastic beads have silver glitter in them, which is pretty, pretty cool. So that's like this one right here is basically like a choker. Even if you take this one and adjust it all the way out, it's still going to be pretty short. That's a short little necklace right there. Good gosh. It's pretty though. I really love, I love dark blue. And I see another blue beaded necklace in there, but I don't know if we'll get to it today. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty one to start with. Plastic beaded necklaces can go either way. A lot of them are kind of tacky looking, but this one I like. And then here we have, okay, this, this here's another triple beaded necklace, or it was triple, or a triple stranded necklace, but it looks like one of the, no, well, yeah, this is the adjustable chain. It looks like one of the strands broke. Some of these beads are glass. Some of them are plastic pretty combination of colors. These are more of a brown and a taupe and sort of a, a dusty rose color. It's not bad. I hate it's broken though. But you could just, um, you can actually just remove this bit that's broken and just wear it like that. That would still be just as pretty. I do like the combination of colors. Some of these beads are dark brown and yeah, that's pretty. Oh, here. Oh, look at this. What in the world? Oh, there's a... Let me get this choker out of here. Here is a really cool stretchy wire choker, and it has little plastic pearls on it, and some clear little multifaceted plastic pearls here and there. You see? That's cute. It's very cute. It has a little tab on it. What does it say? Oh, it's sterling silver. Huh. Okay, that's cool. That's pretty though, I like it. This was what I wanted to look at right here. This looks so cool. I love these green beads. Hey, we found this earring earlier. I think we found it in this bag, the little plastic bales on a clip earring. So I can put these together. See, I keep all of the earrings together in a separate bag. And so the ones I don't keep, which is most of them, uh, when I donate them to be resold, they have all of the little earrings together in a bag. So they don't have to dig through to find them. Now this is pretty. Let me see. Oh my goodness. Here is a necklace with four strands. 
It looks like the 70s to me. I don't know. I think it's the color green in the necklace. These are plastic, multifaceted, really pretty green beads. Look at that. And they're attached up here with this gold stuff, this, these gold pieces. A bit of adjustable chain and a little hook here. I bet the same person made all of these. That is very beautiful. That is so pretty. It, it just, to me, it just looks like the 70s. I mean, it would look pretty today. It would look fine now. I, I think it's the color green in it. It's not really that avocado green, but it still makes me think of the 70s. And another earring. I think we found this one last time, too. It's a little gray metal earring. So, I keep finding the mates to all except the ones I want to find. It's kind of sad. Ooh, look at this joker. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, this is really cool. It has this silver pendant on it, and it's just like a wide leather chain with a medium, a small-sized lobster claw clasp and about three inches of adjustable chain, and it's from Claire's. That is really nice. That's a nice little choker. I do have my collection of chokers, but I'd, I'm really trying not to add any more to it. It's already, I already have too many. It's, it's starting to get out of hand. Okay, let's see. Well, here's just a, a very simple little corded necklace. It has a safety pin clasp. <laughs> it's, there you go. Ingenuity right there. And it has these little hollow, shiny silver beads on here. That's nice. It's not really a choker, it's, but it's just a nice little simple, short necklace. That's cool. And some wooden beads mixed in with something. Oh, look at this pendant. It's a little silver snowflake pendant. Gosh, this part of the pendant is shinier and nicer than the pendant. <laughs> That's cute, though. I like this piece. I really do. That's a nice little pendant holder thing. And here's a big earring back. Okay, this is all together. Oh wow, that's long. Some of these beads are plastic. You have these, these shiny ones here are multifaceted little plastic beads. Uh, back here we have a medium-sized little bronze lobster claw clasp with about two inches of adjustable chain and a little tiny wooden bead on the end of that. Cute. That's not bad. Looks like something somebody just had some beads and they decided to put them together and make something. It's pretty. Um, oh, these grapes. Oh, look at this earring. Oh my god. Look at the balls. You got dangle balls. Dingle balls. That is a trippy earring and it's clip on. Now these pieces are hollow metal right here. I'm going to hang on to this. I would wear these. It reminds me of the Who's down in Whoville. Something about the... I don't know. It just looks like the Who's down in Whoville. For some reason. So I'm going to keep that out. Maybe we'll find the other one. It'll make me feel a little bit better if we don't find the other two I've been looking for. I want to look at these purple beads. After I look at, Lord, look at this ring. It's like a Christmas ball. Lots of red and green rhinestones. Very sparkly. You can knock somebody out and leave a festive print on their face. Look rough and it's stretchy quite fancy 
I like it. I don't think I'll keep it though. No, these purple plastic beads are pretty. Look how pretty they are. And there's a lot of them. My goodness. Yes. And it's tangled up in New Orleans. Look. <laughs> it's tangled up in New Orleans. Well, I can think of worse things to be tangled up in. Oops. Goodness gracious. What in the world? This pesky little thing. Here's an earring. It's a cool little hoop. Here's the stud. See? Oh, now here's a little plastic clasp. You just pull it apart. And then maybe I can untangle this thing. Well, I thought that'd make it easier. in that bag for several days. I've been wanting to look at it, but I said, no, we're going to wait until we get to it. I would never wear it. It's way too long. But isn't it something? This, it's heavy, and it's plastic beads. This is a beautiful necklace. Is just beautiful. It's a little bit stretchy. It's heavy. This is all metal and you have the most interesting little glass beads in here. You have light green, dark green, red, kind of a goldish orange color. This is beautiful. Look. Look how pretty that is. Yeah, it is a little heavy because this is all metal, but that is that's beautiful. Oh, wow. Very pretty. Very unique. I've never seen a bracelet like that. With those links in there like that. That's, that's pretty cool. No, I'm not going to keep it. I told you, I'm, I'm trying to whittle down. I've taken another carload of stuff and dropped it off to be donated. I'm getting rid of all kinds of stuff. I'm making room. Okay. I need to find a new chest of drawers for my older son's room. The one he has is falling apart and I need to find a smaller one. Here's a little plastic beaded necklace here. This is the one I took apart that had the little uh, plastic clasp on it. like little Mardi Gras beads. And then, speaking of which, we have this big chain here that's wrapped up in... Oh, no, it's not. That was easy. I was afraid it was wrapped up in all that. Big, shiny balls. There's nothing like a handful of shiny balls. And a New Orleans thing on it.
I went through New Orleans once on a road trip with my family as a child. I'm sorry, I don't remember much about it. We, we were basically just passing through. We didn't really stop. We were on our way to Texas. We took a lot of road trips when I was a kid. Here are these blue beads I wanted to look at, but it looks like we have the blue and the gray. We got Union and Confederate. Look at that. Now the Union would be a, little, would be a darker blue. I was thinking of that because my younger son, they're, su they're studying the Civil War right now in history class. Here's a cool little little thing here. Look at that. Like an Egyptian thing. It's heavy. And it's on this metal chain with no clasp. That's interesting. There's nothing on it, but it's, it's metal. That's really cool. <laughs> See? It's, that's neat. I don't know what that's from. They're doing, you know, of course, they're out of school for the rest of the year. That is the smallest lobster claw clasp I've ever seen in my life. Look at that. It's a baby one. You don't see the babies very often. It looks like it just hatched. That's a baby lobster claw clasp. What is it attached to? No, we'll get to that in a minute. But they're doing online classes. And I've been helping him, you know, study for these quizzes and tests and things they have to take. And that's one of the subjects they're working on. This is pretty. It's actually really nice. It's all intact and everything. You have this large uh, lobster claw clasp. It's kind of gold, but kind of not. And I'm guessing this blue one is basically made the same way. That's, that's nice. I'm not a big fan of gray. I mean, I don't know if I don't want to wear that much gray, but yeah, that's cool. That's pretty nice. This blue one I've had my eye on. I like the color. It's a pretty blue. There's an earring stuck to it. It's a, oh, look at that big ball. That is a giant pink plastic pearl. That's a decent ball. It's heavy, too. I want to see what that baby lobster claw clasp is attached to next, if I can get it out. So here's the blue. Somebody braided it. Look at that. Why would somebody braid it? Don't braid it. Lord. Well, good luck untangling that. Anyway, yeah, it's just like the other one. Now this lobster claw clasp, the, the adjustable chain and the lobster claw clasp are a little bit more gold, more of a gold color. And you have about two and a half inches of adjustable chain and these pretty blue plastic pearls. That's really cute. I like this one better than the gray one. That's, that's pretty cool. What is this attached to? It's so tiny. I've never seen a lobster claw clasp that small. You can't appreciate how small it is. I need to get it out of here. Oh gosh, what is this? Is this all one thing? Necklaces wrapped together somehow. It's hooked on this wire somehow. Huh. It's it's gotten hooked on this wire. My kids were making fun of the way I talk earlier. We do that a lot. They'll ask me to say certain words. <laughs> there we go, I got it. Yeah, I think this is two separate necklaces here. Hmm. Oh, here we 
go, I got it. It's a Y necklace, I figured it was. Very delicate little Y necklace with these little amber colored beads and really tiny rhinestones that you can't even hardly see. And this nice chain. And here we have, I might need my magnifying glass, the smallest little lobster claw clasp I think I've ever seen. Look at that little tiny, <laughs> that little tiny thing. My gosh, it is tea tiny. And you have about two and a half inches of adjustable chain to go with it. Oh, it's so little. <laughs> Why is it so small? <laughs> I don't know, but so here we have this delicate little Y necklace here. That's cute. And it was tangled up in this necklace. How does this necklace work? Is it tied in a knot? How did that happen? find a chest of drawers for my son. I want to find one smaller than the one he has now. The one he has now has got to go. It is falling apart. It's old and it's time to retire it. Oh gosh, this, okay, this is all one necklace here, I believe. We have this hook right here. Oh, okay. And here's the adjustable chain. You have about three inches of adjustable chain on here. I'm going to hook this. So then when you stretch it out, you have these two strands. This is pretty. Here's the pendant down here. These are little amber colored glass beads. It's funny to say amber. She's actually, um, the book I'm writing, the follow-up to River Road, one of the characters is named Amber. I, I don't know, I just think about her when I say that. <laughs> That's cool. That's a pretty little necklace. And it has little, these are all little glass beads up here. I like the cream colored ones. It's a nice little contrast to the darker ones. Very pretty. See, I, I am still amazed at the number of just complete necklaces in here. Usually, they're in here because they're broken or they have a missing piece. These don't. Oh, look at this trippy earring. It's clear plastic. And it has little, little flowers on it. I thought this was like one thing because it was sitting in there together. This is a bangle. Very pretty. Looks like braided metal. It's a pretty, uh, pretty bracelet. Yeah, that's a neat earring. And it's not heavy at all. Huh. Should I keep that? You know what? I'll hang on to it. I, those are, those are unique. I don't have anything like that. Here's a, a baggie with a single doohickey in it. It's torn though. Whatever else was in here, I guess, fell out. It matches my, <laughs> it matches my nail polish. It's a little piece of glass. It looks like it had some gold painted on it at one time. It's a teardrop-shaped, multifaceted little, little piece of glass, basically. I'm gonna put it back in there. Yeah, I think there was other stuff in here, but the bag is open. Ooh, this is cool. Oh, this is really cool. Okay, now here we have a large silver lobster claw clasp and no adjustable chain. It really needs it because there's nothing to hook this thing to. It won't go there. I'll hook it on the necklace. Look at these pretty glass beads. Oh, wow. Now, they're on this filament stuff. It's like fishing line. I am not crazy about this stuff because it gets warped and then it won't hang right. But these beads are gorgeous. Look at that big glass bead. These are all glass. 
So it needs it needs something here to attach the lobster claw clasp to, but that's pretty. That's actually really pretty. You have one, two, three, four, five strands. And they're all different lengths. Look at that. Wow. Very pretty. Again, it's not very long. This is basically this one here with the big bead. It's going to be like a choker. And then the others are going to hang down further. Of course, with an adjustable chain, it will hang down farther. But yeah, very, very beautiful. I, I love this. I do. <laughs> I, I do. I love these glass beads. They're, they're beautiful. I hear something from threads. It's a, oops, it's a bunch of beads just fell out. Oh, this, here's a string of beads from threads, threadsworldwide.com. We have a collection of bracelets. They're kind of, um, oh, and these are adjustable. They have the thing where you can pull them to make them larger or smaller. They're kind of um, like a sea foam green color and they're braided and they have these copper colored beads. So you have a collection of three bracelets from threads. Oh, I like the clasp on that. Look at that. That's cool. These are really pretty, really pretty little bracelets. Brand new. Alright. Oh, there's still a lot in this bag. It's unbelievable. Oh, wow. It's Barbie's necklace. <laughs> it totally is. There's another one wrapped around it, though. That is Barbie pink. Oh, wait a minute. I don't like this one. Now, here's a little gold one with the small to medium-sized lobster claw clasp in gold with about a three inch adjustable chain. Very small, very lightweight, very simple. It has these little hollow pieces here on these links. That's a cute little necklace. That's cute. I like that. See, that's all there is to it. Just that. Really nice. I like it better than this one. I, this is too much. <laughs> I like the little simple one better. <laughs> How does this work? I'll figure it out. Maybe. Oh, I think... Are these supposed to be attached? Yeah, I think they're supposed to be attached somehow or another. I don't know. It's like an atom or something. It's, no, it's like a molecular structure. Yeesh. Okay. Oh, no, maybe it's not supposed to be attached because see, look. There. No, it's not. I think it's supposed to look like this. So you have this long one here in the middle and then these on the outside and then these and then this one. Okay, I guess they're not supposed to be attached. attached. And you have this kind of basically medium-sized gold chain and a medium-sized lobster claw clasp. Here's a little thing. What does that say? Oh, it's from... It looks like it's from J. Crew. Is it really? I would have never guessed that was a J. Crew necklace. <laughs> okay. It says J. Crew on this little tab. A little oblong lobster claw clasp. There we go. I, yeah, I don't know. I just, I would have never thought that was a J. Crew necklace. Just when I, I think of, when I think of J. Crew, I don't think of anything like that. Okay. Here is another. See, I think somebody made these. Here's another multi-stranded necklace. Whoever did it has a really good eye for color, I will say. If they made all of these. They do, they have a good eye for color, because I like these, I like this combination too. 
There's a little something like it was part of a necklace or something. So this one has four strands. And another little hook clasp and this adjustable chain. I love this color combination. Look at that. It's basically the same length as the other ones we looked at. So with this one, you have sort of a peach color and then black and then a darker red and then just kind of like an orange red color. And then they get larger as you go down. See? have the big ones down here, the little ones, and it has this funky little thing here that you attach the strands to. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you, if you like multi-stranded necklaces, this bag would have been perfect for you. <laughs> okay. Oh, here's an, ooh, look at this bracelet. It has no stretch to it at all, though. It's all glass beads. Look at that. Ooh, that's neat. That is cool. It's like a ladder. Looks like a ladder, a rope ladder. Very pretty. It's red. They're all red glass beads. Oh, I like the way it feels between my fingers, my thumb and my fingers. Kind of rolls, you know? I like that. Here's um, a fancy ball. <laughs> it's a plastic pearl coated in, encased in silver. And it looks like it was attached to something at some point. Now it's like a little wrecking ball. <laughs> what should I look at next? Here's another piece. We found one of these before. We found something like this before, either in this bag or the other bag. Oh my god, y'all. I see the biggest balls I've ever seen in a bag. I have I have to take this out. Oh my god. Look at these look at these balls. It's a necklace. Oh my god. Holy god, look at wow. I've never had balls that big in my hands before. Have you ever? Lord have mercy, they're about the size of like cue balls or something. They're huge. This necklace is amazing. I guess that's, you know, I guess this earring goes with them. I bet the other one's in there somewhere. Yeah, the earring goes, that necklace is huge. And it has a large gold lobster claw clasp and about two and a half inches of adjustable chain. I don't know who made it. You could commit murder with this necklace. Look at that. They're plastic pink pearls. Look how, look how shiny they are. Good God. That's like Betty Rubble's necklace on steroids. That, or was it Wilma that had the big necklace? I don't remember. It was Wilma or Betty out on the Flintstones. Good. I can't put it down. Like, I don't even want to look at anything else. I want to sit here and just hold this. That is incredible. I have never in my life seen fake pearls that big. They're, they're massive. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm, wow. I'm not going to keep it because what would I, what would I do with a necklace like this? I would never wear it and it would take up a whole drawer in my jewelry armoire by itself. It would bully out every other piece of jewelry I tried to put in there. God. That is, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I think I need a minute. <clears throat> well, here's an ugly clip-on earring. Sorry, it's just, look at it. It looks like a piece of moldy cheese encased in multifaceted plastic. I'm not a fan of it. Oh, ooh, look at this. Now this is made of black glass beads. Now you can use this in your hair. You can wear it 
as a necklace you could probably double it up and wear it on your wrist if you wanted to and it's very stretchy very stretchy that's cool you could do any number of things with this yeah I think it's meant to go in your hair I'm still looking for the earrings y'all I'm cheating a little bit I'm, I'm, I'm looking I'm supposed to find it organically, I know. But, oh, look, I found... Here's the other part of that dingle ball. It is an earring, but the... It's not attached to this part anymore. Yeah. Earrings. Okay, one more, and unfortunately I'm going to have to stop for the night. How about this one? It looks like acorns. Oh, God, it looks like little acorns. They're wooden beads. Oh, this is cool. Now, these brown beads are plastic. These up here. But now, these down here are, are wooden. They're made out of painted wood. And they look like big acorns to me with the little cap on them. And you have this, this different strands of uh, chains here. That's very unique. I like that. I like th where you have the different chains here all braided together. And then you have these little rings and then the plastic beads. And then the big wooden ones down here. That's a nice little um, combination. And you have a large gold lobster claw clasp. And some knotted up adjustable chain. What does that say? What I, hang on, I'm going to look at this with my magnifying glass. Well, I looked at it and I can't quite figure it out. It looks like a giant D with some other stuff scribbled on it. I don't know who made it, but that is a pretty little necklace. Now I'm going to take the lobster claw clasp and attach it to the adjustable chain. Isn't that pretty? That is very unique. Very nice. Very pretty. It's a little heavy because you do have this metal here. But... Very, very pretty. Okay, and I think that's going to do it for now. I'm not cheating. I'm just moving things a little. Oh, hey. We found one of these before. This, hey, I can make earrings out of these. I found another one of these little twisty things. It looks like a tiny wreath made out of pearls. That's the second one I found. I could convert them to earrings if I wanted to, but I probably won't. And here's an earring. Ooh, that's an interesting little vintage looking concoction there. It looks like it's missing some rhinestones here and here. But I don't see them yet, but I'm still looking. I'm not going to give up. Unfortunately, we didn't find them today. But we're going to keep on. I got two more bags after I finish this one. So don't give up. I'm not going to give up. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you have a wonderful day. And I will see you again really soon.